I'll be on my way now. Yeah, like, I mean, like, if we're talking about dreaming, then I close my eyes and I'm breaking the tape. But it's going to take a lot. <laughs> Or a partnership or a group you just want to make sure that all of your values are aligned so it feels like you guys are working together as opposed to just like they're providing you product and you're just kind of competing in it and when I spoke to Brooks it felt like there's a lot of um, like common themes and what we wanted to do in the sport how we felt about the sport and everything moving forward so that felt like a really good fit it definitely feels a lot more like a family than just a company. Run happy to me means that running is like a healthy and positive part of your life. It doesn't necessarily mean like you are literally smiling every second of every run but it means that while you are running running itself is enriching your life in some way i definitely feel like i'm getting that right now running has always given me a reason to go outside and you know move my body and just like feel good about myself but it's also taken me a lot of places and given me a lot of opportunity and especially with these upcoming really big opportunities i'm definitely in a very happy place when I was growing up and especially doing like, I only did distance running, like the distance events in high school, not like cross country or anything like that. But I had absolutely no idea that if you stuck with it and enjoyed it enough, I mean, and had some success, that it was something you could continue to do for real. But even outside of that, I, have met so many people that continue to run, especially like post-collegiately, not at the professional level. And like, there is just this massive lifelong community. So I hope that they see that if they start running now, that it is just something that can connect them to so many people for the rest of their lives. I think one of the things that motivates me the most is curiosity and just kind of finding where my ceiling is. I have no idea and just that desire to like keep working towards it until we find it, if we find it, is something that definitely keeps me going every day. it seriously for like a year <laughs> um, realistically I didn't think about it too much coming straight out of college just because of how big of an event it is to tackle I knew there were some things I need to do first before I even thought about it but as we got closer and closer to the next Olympic cycle that thought kind of set in for real I chose Boston for my debut because it made the most sense in every possible way. Um, it made the most sense schedule-wise, getting to do a full marathon before the 2024 trials in Orlando in next February. It made the most sense emotionally, having lived in Boston for five years and just like, this has become my home. So I think having that kind of home field advantage will definitely quell some of those nerves. So it just made the most sense. I think I'm most excited just to kind of join the ranks of the millions of people who have already finished a marathon before. Like not just the elite runners, but there are millions of people every year who sign up and run 26.2 miles voluntarily. And I think that's really cool and really amazing. And I've never done it, but hopefully April 17th by like noon, hopefully well, like well before that, I will be one of those people. Yeah, I 
think it's really special and I'm, you know, very grateful to be one of those people, hopefully at the front of the pack, to be that representation. Like you said, more people have done it in recent years and I wholeheartedly believe there'll be many, many more in the years to come. So to be, you know, up front, especially in the elite field, I think is super important, super cool. I mean, running in general is an incredibly diverse sport and you look at any starting line, whether it's a track or the roads, and I've always really loved and appreciated that. But when it comes to like US born specifically, it does get a little less diverse. And you know, I think it's gonna keep getting better every year. That's definitely something I would say is tucked away. Um, with the marathon being so new and such a different type of challenge, I think having too specific of a time goal for myself would be just kind of distracting on race day, just because you never know what kind of day you're gonna get, especially on a course like that. So I don't wanna be like too tied in to like, oh, I need to hit half marathon at this pace. Like my goal is to get through half with my legs under me and run the best second half that I can. Um, yeah, I'll jog over the track, do a couple of drills, a couple of strides, and then kind of want to go out towards Fenway a little bit. So I'll do another couple of miles that way, and I'll be done. A successful day would definitely be to finish knowing that there's nothing more that I could do. You don't want to finish thinking that, oh, I could have pushed harder, I could have given a little more. So you want to finish on empty and just know that you left it all out on the course. Um, more formally, I really have no idea what like an ideal result would be. I think top 20, I would walk away like, okay, like I did my best and I did a really good job. If I could crack the top 10, I would be on cloud nine. Yeah, like, I mean, like, if we're talking about dreaming, then I close my eyes and I'm breaking the tape. But it's gonna take a lot. 